Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Switch again, back for your first video blog of the day for Saturday, January 16, 2016, around 5.15 in the morning, Bellica, Massachusetts. It's raining out right now, about 35 degrees of cold rain, and it's supposed to end soon, maybe with some wet snowflakes, but little or no accumulation as expected. The winter weather advisory is up until 8 in the morning, but I don't think there's going to be any snow in Berwick, Massachusetts, and other areas up to 1 to 3 inches, but slushy snow. Some news to report, Boston Bruins beat uh, Buffalo Sabres by the score of 4-1 to, to end their losing streak. The Boston Celtics beat the Phoenix Suns by the score of 1-17-104. It's Happy National Nothing Day in the United States of America. And Penthouse Magazine is going to stop publishing their print magazine. It's going all digital. It's... A sign of the times more and more magazines and newspapers are going all digital because everybody loves to read online now and the print is costing too much money and that's about it on the news my first video blog subject of the day is about the former um, BATV show stand-up poetry BATV's Bellwick Access Television in, in the late 90s and early 2000s, they had a show called Stand Up Poetry, hosted by Jack McCarthy. And Jack McCarthy was a, like a poet, and he lived in Bellwecca at one time, and he worked as a computer programmer for Hard Hanks Data, Data Technologies for years. And Jack McCarthy would go to like poetry slams and stuff, and he was very good at it. He won many, many poetry slams, and he was the cult stand-up poetry guy. And his format on stand-up poetry is he and like a other poet who would be his guest would um, read poems and stuff, and they would alternate during the shows, during the during the hour our show, like Jack would start off with one and then his guests would start do one and it would flip flop and stuff and some of the poems that Jack McCarthy said were pretty pretty good. He had one about the Red Sox losing out in 1986 with Bill Buckner. He would call it the Walk of Life and he also had a poem called the Ponset Circle which was about um, dedicated to his wife and he would have other great great poems and stuff and his guest would also have great poems as well and they will and at the end of the show if there was time he would always have local people who would write poems amateur poets and they would re read them but d he said during the tapings that it would not be guaranteed that it would make it on the air because it wasn't like an hour show and stuff and some of the people who wrote the poems were pretty good at it and stuff like that and it was a real real popular and Jack would always call um, Bellica Access Television the Bat V that was a good, good name he did that and, and also Jack had like all the shows were but just po poets except one, which he had like a tribute show to a guy named Joe Cope, who was a local poet who was actually suffering from diabetes and stuff. He eventually became blind and stuff. And um, Joe passed away in 1999. They did a tribute show to him in two years later in 2001, talking about Jack's, I mean, Joe's life and stuff that. Joe Ackley was one of the of the people who founded the Walk for Hunger, that of that walk that goes 20 miles to for Project Bread in the around Boston area. And also, like Jack, with the popularity of stand-up poetry on BATV, that Bellucca had some poetry contest and slams during the late 90s and stuff, and Jack would would go on 
to the poetry slams and stuff, but he said he would disqualify himself from the competition because it was it was just to promote his show on BATV, which what that was a nice thing to do and and stuff for him, like disqualifying himself so he could let others win, and it was basically just a vehicle to get people to watch his show. And stand-up poetry lasted into 2003. That's when it ended. First run episodes ended. Jack and his wife, Carol, moved to Washington. And Jack continued his poetry going across the United States and stuff. He wrote a few poetry books. And Jack um, lived until like 2013. He suffered. He passed away. And the last few years, he was still doing poetry, but he was battling cancer because of his years of smoking and he, he he wrote a poem about how the camels caught up to him and stuff he was a real real good poetry he sometimes used seriousness and human as poems and stuff and he has a website stand up poetry guy I don't know if that's still active or not and that's about it on stand up poetry one more thing stand up poetry still on repeat from time to time on Bellwick Access Television. You can watch it in Bellwick or it's on demand, so anywhere on its website. And that's about it on that. Be back, back with two more video blogs today. One will be, be about the former WWE Tag Team, the Dream Team, with um, Greg the Hammer, Valentine, Bruce the Barber, B Cake, and eventually the, the Hammer and Dino Bravo. Bravo on the third and final video blog of the night will be about actor, comedian, television host Howie Mandel. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Molly Rosenblatt of WCCR rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hart is so, so stunning, and she's got nice legs as well. Amy Swensey is so, so awesome. Papa Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. And in the words of Sean Luchigal.